It's time now for a better mid-Michigan. Better home, family, life. It's a better mid-Michigan. Welcome back to Better Mid Michigan. Summer means watermelon, and there's a lot of unique ways you can do it. Maybe a basket. I've seen baby carriages, and but David Custer has a hedgehog. That's you right. Can do it with a watermelon. You heard that <laughs> right. <new. laughs> a hedgehog. You know why? Because I had a hedgehog growing up. You know what? They seem so cute and friendly. Are they? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they hurt. They never let me pet it. Her name was Whitney. She was not the nicest little creature. Okay, but anyway, we're going to take this watermelon and we're going to make Whitney, okay? Okay, <laughs> Whitney the hedgehog. Right. What you need to do first is you need to, you're just going to cut like a top off of it. Keep like the front. Okay. And then you're going to go along the sides. I've already done it, so I can show you real quick. It pops right off then, right? Yeah, it's probably not going to pop right off easily. You're going to have to, you know, finagle. Get leverage with it, maybe. Mess around with it. Okay. And so then we're going to take, um, we're just going to cut this up, right? All right. Because we want this watermelon, so... Just gonna cut it off. No, this is going to be used for. Well, we're gonna want to eat the watermelon. Okay. Well, yeah. And then we're gonna <laughs> save the rind because um, it's gonna be pieces of our hedgehog. Okay. So we'll put this aside right here. And so you're gonna want to chop this up into uh, I don't know. Those about two pieces. About. Yeah, about that big. Okay. So, and then we take toothpicks. Ones we have here, I see. Right. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch and just. <laughs> Stab them, and then we're just going to put them back in. Okay. And you're going to want to do a lot. You might want to take some of the watermelon I was saying, would out. you scoop the base out almost and yeah. then kind of put them back in? If you want, yeah. Okay. And don't worry about being neat with this. The trick is to be messy. And so we already have one that we've started, and yes. I'm going to have you grab. Pull them out. I'm going to push this Oop. to the side here. I'm dropping some of this part so people can see more of the finished Semi-finished product, I should say. Right. He's still missing his face. Still missing his face, and we're going to do that. You see how okay. it's messy? It looks more like a hedgehog now. Yeah. So I've taken that rind already, and I've cut up some of these pieces, and I've inserted toothpicks in right here okay, already. Okay, so just four kind of like around the face? Yeah, because cereal, or base cereal, we're, right here we're going to take blueberries. Okay. These are going to become Whitney's eyes, right? Mm -hmm. And then I cut this triangle, and I put a toothpick right here. So we're just going to snap that on, and then take another blueberry. For the nose. For the nose, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have these four little pieces, and they don't have to be attached or anything. You just, you know. You can prop them up for one in your display, right? Yeah, they're just going to act as the seat. And so, there you go. You have your little hedgehog we watermelon. We need a hedgehog. And, you know, you can just come up and put a Take a piece of watermelon. You know what? It seems like a great idea maybe for a barbecue or any yeah. type of summer party you have outside it. If you're having a kid's party in the summer. Exactly. Zoo themed. I can see that. would yeah, be a perfect exactly. thing for it. You know what? It seems just like a fun alternative to your traditional slices of watermelon that right? you always see. And how fun. You know it's going to be a conversation piece on your summer buffet. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for this recipe or this tip and the other ones you always give us. And we can get this one and, like I said, all of David's other great ones at boygourmet.com.